Um, what's up with tahini? What's up with tahini? Welcome to next time. <laughs> Do you want a snack but not sure what to get? Maybe you want a protein cookie, but which brand tastes the best? You could try a couple and put your taste buds through the paces, or you could have fun watching us do it for you on Sample Saturday. All right, today we are sampling Sepoli, which is dahini, datini. Okay. It is all organic tahini and medjool date spread. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what tahini is, but yeah, me neither. Well, my co-producer um, told me just a little bit ago, and Seth, why don't you say it out loud? Tahini <laughs> is a sesame seed butter. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's used a lot of Mediterranean cuisines. I'm personally not a fan of tahini, but you know, that's, How do you that's know? just me. Have you ever had tahini? I have had tahini. Yes. When? Seth uses tahini in some stuff. Yeah, a little bit but here and there. <laughs> It's, ah, it's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but the the story behind Sapole is a concerned mom worried about the uh, increasing amount of sugary meals creeping into her daughter's meals, reflecting on her childhood in the Mediterranean where tahini and fruit paste was a staple. She started experimenting not only for her daughter, but also for replacing uh, replacements for energy gels for her Ironman triathlon training. Okay. Basing it on the ancient recipes from her childhood, Sepole and Tahini was born. Simple ingredients for delicious and healthful spread. Per two tablespoons, it has 11 grams of fat, 160 calories, 15 carbs, 4 grams of protein, 0 cholesterol, 0 sodium, and 0 trans fats. It's also certified organic, gluten-free, Organ. vegan, dairy-free, peanut-free, soy-free, zero added sugar, and certified women-owned. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So the first one, which is on your left, is original. Original. Okay. Original. So do we test it on the apple? You can I, do I both. I give you an apple as a as a just a trial. As a palate much, cleanser. As a palate cleanser, or to put it on. I put it on an apple and it's delicious. Oh, I, I feel like it's, if we put it on the apple, it's going to take away from where. I yeah, yeah I, 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 taste I, it I would first, taste it and separate. Then you can try it on an apple if you want. Ooh, I, I thought it would smell different. I'm not a fan of the smell already. It's very molasses flavor um, smell. Mm-hmm. First, <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, as you're sampling it, you are supposed to rank it on taste, consistency, aftertaste, and would you purchase it again? What's wrong? I'm not a fan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> At all. <laughs> really, I it, it love started it. Started off kind of nutty. Yeah. And then that bitterness hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really bitter. Bitterness yeah. hit, and I was so just maybe. Like, Mm. Mm, there we go. Yeah. Mm. And that is part, and that is mostly due to the tahini, tahini. because with the sesame seeds, it already has that natural kind of bitterness. Okay, to that it. makes sense. Now I know why you probably like. Okay, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna we're gonna do a little touch on this. We give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, it's <laughs> really good on apples. I mean, it's still there, but yeah, definitely. Helps eliminate some of it. Definitely dilute it down. Now, the mm. original was more bitter. The other ones are oh. vanilla and cinnamon. And so they do cut some of the bitterness. Okay. Mm. okay. All right. Good. Now, my favorite one is the next one, which is vanilla. Oh, so you already tried these? I did. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't smell as bad. Yeah, this one smells, again, the vanilla. Yeah. Kind of. And you look at the consistency, right? A little smoother, not as grating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So definitely very, better very strong vanilla um initially love it that after the after the bitterness kicks in i don't like it because no. then it lingers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you know? if it, it's if it if the balance or the flavor profile oh, would stay initially dude. when you first yeah. try it yeah i'd be okay with the vanilla but yeah that bitterness yeah. is a killer yeah. yeah it is very bitter I think I guess it's because I'm more used to tahini. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I like it. And again, like that one was bet much better with the apple. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like almost hid the bitterness at the end. Yeah. She said her um, one thing I read on the the website is that uh, her daughter uses it as a substitute for like Nutella, mm -hmm. in like a crepe or with apples and. Which I could see this would be very good for like Michelle because this has gluten free, vegan, dairy free, and it's peanut free and soy free. I could definitely right. do the vanilla. Try it. I'm gonna try it. Try it. Just, Don't overdo it. Just a touch. Yep. <laughs> Just a dabble. 
I mean, you still taste it a little bit, but nothing like the first one. The first one, oh, I yeah. could still taste it with the apple. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. It cuts the bitterness. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my favorite one is the second one, the third one, which yeah. is cinnamon. Cinnamon. I do like cinnamon. Cinnamon. So. Kev didn't like that one as much because he said he thought the cinnamon had a little bit you of a You still can too. smell the tahini. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought Definitely. the cinnamon kind of added to that little bitterness at the very end, but uh, <laughs> George took a very teeny tiny <laughs> I'll bite. Chance of that afterwards. <laughs> I like the cinnamon better than the vanilla. Now, see, one thing that I'd like to try the cinnamon with is Indian food. Mm, I think it would be excellent with the tikka. Ba that's, see, I thought that one was more balanced. far more balanced than the. Yeah, other that's two. what I was gonna mm -hmm. say, because. It's it you there is bitterness, but it's very minimal. Yeah, yeah. It's muted. Hmm. Yeah. I actually I'm gonna try that with the apple. But this one I think <laughs> I would actually eat. Why? Because because it's so balanced. Like I healthy food, let's just be just honest. Get on there. Really good for you, healthy food is not gonna taste amazing. Right. Yeah. I don't care what it is. Most of the time, really healthy food that's been kind of processed and made, it's not gonna taste good. They're gonna have artificial sugars in it, they're gonna have in it yeah that's to make it taste <laughs> decent yeah so anyways how was that good yeah cinnamon now, I, I honestly so the cinnamon one mm. i think would go far better with a red apple uh well that um that's a um honey crisp apple that's a okay. sweeter apple than oh we ate the you other ate the one you we ate the, the green one Smith. dang oh, that's Messed right up. <laughs> I put both options there because I didn't know which one you would like prefer. Well, I prefer Honeycrisp all the time, every day of the week. Yeah, the Honeycrisp is good with it. Mm. There you go. As there's a little <laughs> bit more sweetness. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's at. Next time I'll only put Honeycrisp on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I, like I'll, I'd eat I, this. Yep, I would eat that. Yeah. With some apples. And it, well. it's incredible because, I mean, it has no sugar in it except for Because in all dates. honesty, like... You know, it's got that cinnamon to it, but it's almost, since it has that nutty kind of, and it's, it kind of mind tricks you like, almost like it's a caramel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Agree. Like, again, Agree. like, at this point, like, I mean, your mind is playing tricks on you because it's not. Yeah. But it, it would be like you taking caramel on dipped apple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. try you know, try the vanilla with that apple. Just see if you like that one better. That, right, right. I, you're going to ruin my palate. I tried the vanilla with the, the sweeter apple, too, and it was much better to me. Well, this vanilla was already sweeter, if you ask yeah. me, the initial. Yeah. I'd agree. Yeah. Better with the red or funny crisp. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It does. It it milds the. All right. Should we, uh, try, should we try the red with the original? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> not really a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would probably do, I would probably do the, the these two. Yeah. If I had like red apples. Yep. And there may be other things that might be taste good with I, it too. I thought like banana, you know, like instead of peanut butter and banana, mm -hmm. that would be good with banana. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll, stick with, I'll stick with the apples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for a quick snack, low sugar. Yeah. All natural, organic. I mean, well, that's not bad. And the yeah. fact that it, it, most spreads are not going to have protein. Yeah. Right. right. So the fact that the thing is said, what, four? It's four grams per two tablespoons. So, I mean, that's almost like a peanut butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so peanut butter has, what, seven, seven or eight it's about grams seven of protein. Eight, yeah. yeah. So it's almost, because it's not a, a nut-based stuff, there you're getting some extra protein. You know, the sugars are relatively low. Um, so it has, yeah. it has good like fat content too. That's yeah. why she used it for when she was triathlon training to have some good fat. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's calorie dense too. I mean, what two tablespoons is well, 160? <laughs> but that's just yeah, like, 160. That, yeah. Just but I'm like saying a, like for, like if you really like need that quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. now we need to rank it one through five. One being yuck, five being wow. We have yuck, blah, mm. palatable, mm. yum, and wow. Wow, you say this fast. Thank you. Mm. I've it's like, been it's practicing. Like he's been practicing. I know. <laughs> practicing in the mirror. I now. remember this is as a whole. So yes, there was one that we didn't like, but you still have to do it as a whole. Well, we're, we're gonna judge it with food. Let's or with apples. Yeah. Yeah. That's All fine. Right. Sound fair? Sound fair. Okay. So without apples, it'd be keeping it. Keep in mind, this is with apples. Yes, right. which it is a spread, so it would be used on something, not necessarily yeah. by itself. I even think, like Kev said, it would be good, like as instead of putting honey in, like Indian food, put mm -hmm. a little bit of that in because that adds some nuttiness and sweetness. Yeah, I would, I would totally eat that with Indian food. Mm -hmm. All right, do it. We will. Yeah. Oh, I am going to. So we're gonna 
get any ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Are we talking about lunch now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, shoot. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with palatable. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. because I'm not a huge huge spread person. Okay. In general. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I mean, I'm not a big condiment person. So I mean, for me, it's like, man. I mean, it was good. I would eat it. Like if you had it on a tray at a party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would grab some and grab some apples and eat it. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. But if you're talking about at my house, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to buy it from my house yeah. mm-hmm. because right. I'm not a break spread person. Right. right. But yeah. I will consider buying it for my wife, though, who is um, really watching what she's eating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it may be something that she would probably like. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely agree with George. It's definitely a palatable um, with the fruit. Without mm-hmm. the fruit, it's a blah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's too too harsh for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I, for me, I I'd go yum because I would definitely buy it. I'm more of a spread person though. I yeah. like peanut butter, you know, and, and jelly, and yeah, I, I would eat that. I, I would go yum too, just because I like experimenting with cooking with different seasoning and things. And I can yeah, see that being used in a this? lot of stuff. I would. I would, I would definitely cook with this. I, I've just never thought of using a spread well, in, in like, place. Do you use peanut butter and and. Well, I mean, I used in, like an Indian food and um, um, Oriental food. They use peanut, like peanut pad thai. Well, peanut oil. No, they no, use, no, no. use peanut butter. You actually use peanut butter, yeah. and, like in Thai food. In Thai it's food, very mm-hmm. much peanut butter. I thought it was a peanut oil or peanut. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They use peanut butter no, and sesame oil. Mm-hmm. That I mean, you use that. I mean, you get that a lot of the yeah. you know, Asian yeah. greens, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, and in place okay. of in place of molasses with greens, you could use a little bit of that mm-hmm. too. You had some nuttiness and some sweetness. Yeah, cool, cool. Okay, till next time. Till next, next time. time. Thank you for joining us this sample Saturday. Is there a product you have a question about, or maybe you have a suggestion for a future sampling? If so, post them on Sample Saturday's Facebook page. Till next time. This is Sample Saturday, brought to you by Fit Bodies Unlimited. Get fit, stay fit.